It's been a very busy year for Canada's Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, facing ongoing challenges both at home and around the world, and looking ahead to the new challenges his minority government will face. Trudeau sat down for a year-end interview with the host of Power and Politics, Vashi Capellos, a wide-ranging discussion about some of those issues before the country, including ongoing tensions with China. Given how they've treated this country over the last year, would you ever pursue a formal free trade agreement again with China? I think we're a long way from that. Until there is room to find that common ground, I don't think that greater free trade with China is is uh, really uh, something we can explore. But you haven't, you won't rule it out if the situation were to be resolved with those two Canadians. Oh, if if the situation were to be resolved with these two Canadians, and we were to see significant positive motion in other ways, uh, this might be interesting. We had we had it, but it's not for any time soon. The two Canadians, the Prime Minister, spoke with Vashi about Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor, who've been imprisoned in China for more than a year now since the RCMP arrested Huawei's executive, Meng Wanzhou. China is now responding to a second interview the Prime Minister gave yesterday, speaking to the Tebeyan network. He talked about uh, those men and U.S. trade issues with China linked the two. So let's go to Ottawa and our Catherine Cullen, who has more on that. What what exactly did the Prime Minister say to uh, the TVA reporter, Catherine? Trudeau, to, to up the pressure, perhaps to sort of call in the cavalry here to try to get this difficult situation resolved. He told uh, TVA Network yesterday that he has asked the United States not to sign a final and complete trade deal with China until the case of the two uh, Michaels, Michael Kovrig, Michael Spavor, has been Resolved Now, of course, that uh, issue of the escalating tariff war between China and the United States, a massive issue, not only affecting those two countries, but global markets as well. It is interesting to note that the prime minister did not actually say how the United States responded to that particular request, but this is an obvious effort by Justin Trudeau to up the pressure a bit on China to try to get something done. It has been more than a year now since those two men Canadian men were taken into Chinese custody in a move that is widely viewed as revenge for Canada arresting Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou. And you will remember when we look at the dynamics in all of this that the reason Canada did that, well, that was because of a U.S. request to extradite her to that country. So that is what was said, as, as we mentioned, Catherine, in that TVI interview this morning. We're getting China's response, and it's uh, very much in keeping with what we've heard from that country's foreign ministry previously. What's its latest comment? clearly unhappy with uh, these comments by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, a, a Chinese official saying that the strategy is doomed to fail, that the idea of linking the trade deal and uh, these cases is, is was, uh, in his words, totally in vain, and suggesting, Heather, that Canada is desperate. Catherine, thank you very much. Catherine Cullen is in Ottawa this morning. Now, Canada's relationship with the United States is also a major theme in that CBC News interview, Vashi Capellos and the Prime Minister. And Vashi asked Justin Trudeau about his relationship with Donald Trump, and in particular about that famous caught-on-tape moment from the London NATO summit two weeks ago. That video of you at NATO talking about President Trump, were you making fun of him? No, I was talking about what happened in my day. They were, we were talking about whether, whether the president was going to be late for this event. I said, well, he does press conferences that I'm happy to be part of at every, every time, so it, it's possible he's going to be running late. And oh, by the way, in mine, um, in case you're interested, fellow G7 countries, he announced that we're going to Camp David, and it surprised his advisors. It was a conversation about, about how, how my day went uh, and how my afternoon went amongst colleagues. Were you surprised then that he called you two-faced because of that? I think, I, you know, I think we've, we've been through uh, interesting moments uh, in terms of the, the relationship with the president before. Uh, we were able just a few days later to talk uh, about the ratification or the, uh, the approaching signing of, of the new NAFTA. We were able to sign it a few days after that. We're staying focused on the big things despite the, uh, the other things.